guys what's up welcome back to the channel so today we're doing a little bit of a different video obviously we're here in the office we're talking um, if you want to see more day-to-day -day action go subscribe to my uh, daily vlog channel you'll see the ins and outs of me car hauling every day so go check that out I'll put a link down in the description below for that but today I got my handy dandy notes and we're gonna talk about some maintenance so Everybody always like asks about doing your own maintenance or taking it to a shop and having them do you know do the maintenance for you and I am a stickler of doing everything myself just so I know the condition of my truck. You know, I can see underneath of it, I see if something's becoming an issue or, or can plan ahead for things. And uh, you know, working in the dealership for seven plus years, I uh I don't always trust the technician. Shady people out there, unfortunately, but that's just the business. So we're going to go uh, over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven maintenance items. These are routine maintenance that need to be done in, you know, X amount of mile intervals. And if you can do some of these things yourself or all of these yourself, you're going to see how much money you can save. So what we're going to go over today is oil change, uh, crankcase filter. We're going off a of Dodge. We're going off of Cummins engines. I have a 2018. Um, so we're going to go off of that platform and we'll get into some other things. My truck is not four wheel drive, but we're going to act like, uh, my comparison numbers are from a four wheel drive truck. So we're going to go off of that. Um, oil change, crankcase filter, fuel filters, rear differential, front differential, transfer case, and your transmission fluid and filter. Um, so I'm not going to go over the intervals of which these should be done, but I will tell you when I do them. Um, so just take it for what it is. These are just the intervals I do things at. So I was going to do this video where I was going to call up a dealership and I was going to get pricing uh, straight from them on what these services would cost. But I didn't want to be that guy to actually just waste somebody's time because I've been in that position before and I don't want it to be like, um, you know, I'm just shopping around. This guy gets his hope up that he's going to make a sale and I'm really have no interest. So I knew somebody made a video on this and I'm going to go off of their numbers where they had it done at a shop and I'm going to show you what I can do it for. Um, you know, just by ordering parts online, um, and pretty much, you know, getting everything shipped to my door and be ready to work on. So fluid wise, I use all AMS oil products. So all these pricing will be with Amsoil products. Amsoil products are a little more expensive, but they are quality products, proven products. And within two days, they're shipped right to my door. They're sitting on the back porch ready for me to work on a vehicle. Um, so the first, uh, the first one we're going to go with is the oil change pricing. Um, this gentleman had an oil change done, and it cost him $123. And for me to do a, a oil change with synthetic oil in my truck with AMS oil fluid, AMS oil filters, about $110, it cost him $123. So I saved 13 bucks there. The next item on the list is the crankcase ventilation filter. Let me back up. My oil change I do between 12 and 15,000 miles with AMS oil product. Crankcase filter is supposed to be done. Um, I think they say 70,000, no, it's 67.5 on the Rams. Um, so crankcase filter, uh, they paid $257 for with a Mopar crankcase ventilation filter. I can do it for 65 bucks. So that's about $190 savings right there. Fuel filters. Uh, they paid $250 to have a fuel filter service done. Rams, there's two fuel filters, one under the hood, um, to the right side of the engine, down kind of low, kind of a pain in the uh, in the butt to get to. Inch and an eighth socket and some extensions will get it done for you. Um, I order my filters offline. I've been using a company of aftermarket filters, which I've run for 70,000 miles now on the Ram and on my Chevy for probably 100,000 miles, so I trust them. I've had zero issues with these filters. I paid $40 for a set of filters. Uh, for both filters, $40, and they paid $250 for the filters and the labor. $210 savings are right there. All right, so we're going to skip to the rear differential and the front differential. They paid $180 a piece for those, 
and for me to do them with Amsoil products cost me about $53 a pair. So you can, you know, compare $360 to about $106. Big savings there. Uh, next item on the list is transmission fluid and filter change. Um, I just did this on my truck at, uh, it, I do it at 60,000 miles. Um, back up again, rear differentials I do every, or differentials I do every 30,000 miles. Um, so transmission fluid and filter, for their service it costs them $616.00. And for me, with Mopar um, gasket, filter, and Amsoil fluid, cost me $160. Um, transfer case. Now, remind you, my truck does not have a transfer case. My truck is two-wheel drive. But for comparison, they paid $138 for the transfer case service. And I it only cost me about $25 if I had a transfer case with Amsoil fluid. So if you add these, what did I say, seven items? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven items up. For their bill, their total would have been, and this obviously is before tax, $1,744. All right. If you skip over to my side, for me to do everything myself, now, mind you, this service would take me anywhere between, if, even if I didn't have a lift, probably four hours, but on the lift, realistically, this service only takes me about two hours. So they had $1,744 in service, and on my side, only $506. So for one service, you can save yourself $1,238. Now, people always ask, you know, Jason, it takes time. It does. But if you can take a, you know... Just say a day. Say if it takes you eight hours, you know, on a Sunday to service your truck and you can save yourself $1,200. Why would you not do that? These are basic things you can learn off of watching YouTube videos. Maybe grab a buddy who is a mechanic. Maybe your uncle's a mechanic or, you know, somewhere along those lines, you know somebody who turns wrenches. Go ask them to help you the first time. Once you do it once, it's very simple. None of all these uh, services require just basic tools, basic sockets, basic tools, and they're really not that hard to do. So if you can, you know, take a day. If you don't know how to do these, you know, nine out of ten people know how to do these, and people will say that, "Well, I could be doing stuff in the meantime." What are you going to be doing without your truck that's going to make you over $100 an hour? You know, for me, that's like three, $400 an hour that I would have to be doing something else to break even of what I could do just doing the service myself. So it's something to think about. I get the questions all the time. Hey, Jason, what maintenance can I do on my truck realistically and, you know, help save money? And, you know, I ship oil to everybody to people all over the country that do their own service i am an amsoil dealer i sell everything at wholesale i don't make a dollar off of the customer i do get a commission a small tiny commission back from amsoil but i'm not there to make money i'm just there to distribute quality products but with that being said guys um if you want to see the day in and day out go check out my um, daily vlog channel i'll put it right at the top of the description um below and uh, don't forget to slap a thumbs up on this and if you're not subscribed do so see you on the next one